Hi, I'm Fawn Germer. I thought I'd take a minute and explain to you how a cynical, hard-bitten investigative reporter became a motivational speaker. Because nobody does that. It's the most negative profession meeting the most positive profession. And I certainly didn't plan things this way. But it is proof that the universe will give you all the information you need. You just need to pay attention. I would quit my newspaper job in order to write a book that I felt certain was going to be this instant bestseller. Instead, it was rejected everywhere. And while I was suffering the indignity of what felt like certain failure and trying to figure out what I was gonna do with my life, a friend of mine said, you should think about becoming a professional speaker. And I said, you can get paid doing that? And so I checked it out and I found out that sure enough, you could get paid doing that. And the timing was amazing because right then, women were finally getting the opportunities that let them do the keynotes on the big stage. So I started going to Toastmasters every week and practice speaking. And in the beginning, I was terrified. But I soon realized that I love speaking just as much as I love writing. And let me tell you, that's a lot. I kept persevering for my book. And finally, I got a publisher. It was released the day before 9-11. And then my book tour got canceled, but I pushed back some more. I rented a car. I traveled all over the country, wherever I had a friend with a spare bedroom or a couch. I'd speak at every bookstore that would have me. And that turned that first book, Hard Won Wisdom, into a bestseller. And I kept writing my letters to Oprah, hoping that she'd consider my book for her show. 29 letters later, she held up my book and told the world how very inspiring I was. Suddenly, my speaking career that I never expected became this juggernaut that would take me all around the world where I would tell stories that always hit home because people can relate so well to somebody who doesn't put on airs, who tells the truth about how in life we all have our obstacles, we all hit the wall occasionally, but we can all get beyond our adversity. I love speaking because it is the easiest way to quickly change somebody else's life. People are waiting for that spark that gets them to take a risk and bet on themselves. They need to know that they are all powerful. And the only thing that separates them from the people who are killing it in the success department is the ability to believe in themselves, take a chance, and know that no matter what, they will get beyond their obstacles if they just take the next step. Oh, my God.